So I'd like to talk about one of the ways to clean up some ringing on the uh, voltage transitions on induction heater. You can see this is the current waveform in magenta. I'll make that a little more clear. This is the uh, voltage connected to the, uh, the uh, LC tank for the induction heater. And if we change our time scale, you can see the ringing on the voltage transition. If we measure that, here, we measure here. It looks to be about one waveform. So that's about 58 nanoseconds, which I believe is about 18 megahertz. So my induction heater frequency is about 80 kilohertz. The ringing is about 18 megahertz. This is a snubber capacitor. It is 4,700 picofarads. For my 80 kilohertz induction heater, this offers about 423 ohms of reactive impedance. But for the 18 megahertz ringing signal, it offers only two ohms of reactive impedance. I'm going to connect the snubber capacitor across the gate to the source. And I'm going to put it across the gate right now and let's watch what happens to that ringing. You can see it go down. And I'm going to attach it again and down. Let me get rid of the cursor and have a better look at what's going on without the capacitor across the gate with the capacitor across the gate. And if I change the scale, let's do it again. Again, this is just across one of the legs of the inductor, there's two. So this is the upward transition. And again, without it, and that should hopefully offer some protection when I'm running this at high voltages, near 500 you know, volts DC, 600 volts DC across the switch.